lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Jesus was very clear. He is coming back bodily the way he left. If anyone tells us he has come back bodily, don't believe it. If he's in the inner rooms, they say, don't go there. If he's in the wilderness, don't go there. He warned a time would come when people would say these things. And these kinds of beliefs, and the fact that they seem to be increasing in frequency, is one of the things that shows the Antichrist's advent is getting nearer. It's preparing the way for him, because he is going to claim to be the enfleshment of a messianic figure. When we look at scripture, following the ascension, whenever Jesus appeared to somebody like Paul on the Damascus Road, or the Apostle John in Revelation, Whenever that happened, it was always spiritual, or they were caught up, they were harpezo, they were raptured up temporarily. That's where they saw Jesus. They did not see him come down and begin walking around as a Christophany. Christophanies, that is, enfleshments of Christ, were in the Old Testament, but not following his ascension in the New Testament. In the Roman Catholic Mass, they claim that Jesus returns bodily under the appearances of bread and wine. The priest holds up the host and holds up the cup of wine, and he says, here is Jesus Christ physically, kneel down and worship him. And in an act of idolatry, Roman Catholics kneel down and worship what they say is the physical return of Jesus Christ in the Mass with transubstantiation. This is completely demonic, completely demonic. Then in a cannibalistic ritual of the Mass, they eat him cannibalistically, even though the Book of Acts forbids the consumption of blood. No, whenever you see in the New Testament, in the rare cases, rare cases, where Jesus appeared to someone, and that was, it, 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 Paul was apostles, essentially. When that happened, it was not a physical apparition. It was a translated body, or the person who beheld him were translated. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.